Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we're going to talk about the three stages of the computer. The, at least they have three stages and other computer may have five. But we are going to talk uh, about the three stages and then after that we are going to talk uh, about these two stages. So that is very important. So if this is the first time you see one of my videos, I recommend you to go to the playlist so you can play it from the beginning. We are going to teach you how to become a computer technician. This is the basics, but it will help you to understand many things. So uh, most computers, like I said before, they have an input. So an input on most computers might be a keyboard, it might be a mouse, it might be a, the touch screen, it might be anything that will trigger something inside of the computer. In, in a car, for, for instance, it might be the key. I mean, the key when you turn on the, the car, you start the, the car, you, you will have a, that input and the computer will say, okay, I have fuel, I have everything else, and then uh, it will check the engine and, and all those things in a few seconds, and it will start the, the engine if everything is, is, is great. I mean, if it, everything is, is okay. Also, it will check the, the fuel and a lot of things that those uh, things are input. So if, if the computer doesn't have all the inputs that it, it needs, it may display something, but I'm going to uh, tell you an, another thing. So we have the input, let's say, for instance, for now, is the mouse or the keyboard. So when you, when you press a, a key, or, or you, you move the mouse or something like that, the computer will do some uh, processing inside. And then after that, it will uh, show you something on the screen or the output will be something else. Uh, in this case, like I said uh, before in the car, it might be, okay, you, you put the, the key in, you, you start the, the engine, and then the computer will process it, and then the output will be the engine is start running, something like that. Or maybe you push the the computer, or you start working with the GPS or something like that, or any order that you give to the car, uh, usually is processed by by the, some kind of computer inside. If you didn't uh, see my my video before, I recommend you to to watch them. So because not everything that you think is that. It looks like a notebook or maybe a desktop computer is a computer. There are many other computers out there that we, we don't realize or you don't realize about that, but there, those are called computers. Even if you have a small camera or something that is electronic, usually it has a computer and it has some uh, processing power that it will do whatever is, it was uh, programmed uh, to do. So the other thing will be just maybe the regular computer, you may have uh, also in the computer, you may, you may have a storage or not. I'm going to explain why you may or may not. Also, uh, surely you will have some uh, Ethernet card or a, a network connection, so that way you can uh, pass in, uh, information or data uh, through it and do any other thing. Like, for instance, uh, if you have a a computer, a desktop computer, okay, you, you move the mouse, it will process, it will have an output on the screen, or maybe if you want to print something, it will go to some a printer, it will be a, a, me a mechanical output, it doesn't have to be always on the screen, it, it could be something else, or maybe it will play a music or, or any, uh, watch a video, <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, you can do whatever with the computer. And the other thing will be the, the storage. The storage, it means that you may save something on the computer. So let's say that you're working on Word or Excel or any other uh, program for, uh, for, from Office, you know, so Microsoft Office, something like that. And then uh, you can start working with your document and then you can save it or not. So if you save it, you will, uh, you will save it so you may uh, see it later on or you can keep working. Uh, later on in the in the process, so on, on the day or maybe next week, I don't know. And if you have a, a network connection, you may say, okay, I want to send an email, so you store it, and then you send the the data or the file to someone else through the connection. So the the network connection, it could be maybe you have a small a, a network on your home, and maybe you don't have internet, but you can if, if you can send uh, files 
from one computer to another one, no problem, you don't have to have internet in order to do that. But uh, most computers, at least today, they, they have a internet connection, so you can send uh, the data to someone else and in the other in the other part of the world, in the other side of the, of the world. So that is what it, it means. So that is, is very important uh, that, you, that you can understand uh, this. So I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how it works. I mean, it might be a little bit silly, but it's, it's good to know. So here I have a, a very old computer. And if I press Enter, you will see when I press Enter, that was the input. So the, the screen was black, and now is. I have some something to to type. So here is the password. So I can type whatever, and it will take the password, or it will not. So here, ask for the login. So each time I press, let's say uh, T, and you have a T on the screen. So this will be the input. The computer will process it, and then it will show me the the T or whatever I want to. To do with the computer, so that is, is pretty basic, but uh, it's, it's good to understand this uh, ba basic uh, concept so you can understand better how computer works. Another thing that you have to think is, uh, I was saying storage. The computer may have storage or not, uh, at, at least not in in the form of a hard drive as you are uh, used to it. Uh, the thing is, you may have, let's say, a terminal, a terminal. There are a, a brand is called N Computing, N Computing, and um, they they have the input. It will be the keyboard, the mouse. The output will will be the the monitor. Uh, here the keyboard, mouse, and uh, here it will have a Ethernet cable. So it doesn't have any hard drive inside, and if you turn it off. Uh, all the information will stay on the server. So this is another way how you you can work without having a, a physical uh, drive here. So you can turn it off, turn it off, back on, and it will pick up the session that was open uh, before. So that is one way, and you keep uh, working on, on here and, and not here. So uh, like I said, in the car, in the car, it may have some storage or not. Maybe if you have an old car that is just, uh, it has an engine and it has <laughs> the injection uh, and all the things in the engine. Maybe a very basic uh, computer. So it might not store anything because the only thing that it has to do is process every time you, you put the key, uh, process that you you start the, the car, uh, the output will be the, the the motor is, is running. So that is a basic concept that uh, I wanted to teach you here. So I hope it was uh, useful for you. So remember, if you have any questions, leave it in, this, in the section below. Uh, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.